Hello parents and students. As a student, I've just logged into my Google Classroom and I've noticed that I have a new assignment and that assignment says, please submit a multi-page document as one file. And the first thing I do is panic because here I am over on my phone and what I tend to do when I have a new assignment like that is to go down to my work and I add an attachment. Now, students often will do this. They'll use the camera and then they'll take a picture and even at funny angles like this without getting a very good uh, job of it or they might attempt to do something like this where we add another, uh, another assignment or excuse me, another attachment here uh, and they might actually take a bit better picture like this but notice there's shadows and uh, you can see the desk and if my finger's stuck in there, I can see my finger. And then on top of that, notice that what the teacher is going to see is a number of different documents that are attached right here. There's no page numbers. There's no order. It gets very convoluted. So a good thing to do is that we're going to show you how to create one document from multiple files. So today I'm going to show you how to do this on an iOS device. We're going to open the, document, the notes app on your iPhone. We're going to select the camera icon and we're going to scan documents and then we're going to send that to Google Classroom. Now before we do that, the two things that of course you need on your phone is that you definitely need to have Google Classroom installed as an app and Notes is already installed so you need to have access to that. So let's go ahead and walk through. Um, two, three ways to access this, but the fastest way is if you long press on an icon, it's kind of like right clicking on old school PC. So notice here I can scan document. I can jump straight to the scan document um, or I can go to a new new note. But if I just jump straight to scan document, I get this here. So notice what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to put a piece of paper in, down there and it's going to automatically select it and take that picture. Then I just move number two there automatically and takes a second. The moment I stop moving is when it's going to take that picture. So I've got to be as stable as possible and there we go. So we now have these, this document with in order one, two, three. Now notice this one's a little blurry. I might want to retake that. So in fact I will. So I'm going to pull back my number one, hold it slowly and steadily there we go. That's much better. And notice it puts it in the right order. So I'm done with that. So I can hit done. And now I can go to save. Now in the scan document, I'm going to change the name up there by selecting this. And then I'm going to go up to the top there where it says scanned documents. And I'm going to call this, maybe this is my math homework and specifically 1-2. Uh, Okay, so now we have that. Now this icon dun, 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 up at the top is your share icon. So tap on that and we're going to share it with Google Classroom. So just swipe over until you get to Google Classroom right there. And it's going to now log me in. Assuming you're logged in your a proper account, we're going to attach it to an assignment. And which one does it ask me to? Oh, the multi-page document. Boom, it already attaches it. And we're going to see that in just a moment. And there it's done. So actually, if I go back over here and do a refresh, I should see that all three of those are there. In fact, I can get rid of these other two because they're now irrelevant. And this is my math homework. It's attached. When I click on it, I see that it's in the proper order. And when the teacher receives it, he or she can grade very easily just by scrolling through and not having to decipher which IMG file is page one or page 10. So hit the turn in and boom, you have made multiple pages into a single file and you are a technological hero. Thank you very much.